You ready to do this, Yogi? Let's do it, buddy. Hey, everybody. I'm Tony Varela, and I'm here to show you all the comics that I should have gotten from my comic store on yesterday. So this is an addendum or a part two to yesterday's new comic day for September 9th, 2020. So let's jump right into it. We got Captain Marvel number 21 written by Kelly Thompson. Uh, we got Corey Smith doing the art, and we got us a dope Jenny Friesen cover. So dope, I had to get it twice. See, I had to drive an hour and 15 minutes to do two different comic stores to get all the comics that I should have had. So big shout out to Emerald City Comics in St. Petersburg, as well as Yancey Street Comics in Tampa. Big drive, but uh, thank you for you guys. Thank you guys. I don't know if I'm ready to switch allegiances yet, but I do help you. Uh, do thank you for helping me find all the comics that I needed. We got Fantastic Four Empire Fallout, and I would not normally buy this title. I'm not a big fan of Dan Slott's writing, nor am I a fan of this Empire series. Uh, Sean Isaacs is doing the art inside, but I simply bought it for this dope-ass Alex Ross cover. He's doing a whole line of these masterpiece covers, and they are masterpieces, believe me, and I'm gonna be getting as many, as, uh, many of them as I can. Probably gonna be a lot buying a lot of comics that I don't normally buy. Also from Marvel, star number five, also written by Kelly Thompson. Uh, she's busy doing Star, Captain Marvel, and Deadpool. We got Javier Pena and Philippe Andrade doing the writing duties, splitting the writing duties literally right down the middle. And I was not originally familiar with Philippe Andrade's work, but I do like it a lot. And I also like this Chris Anka black, black cat cover as well. From Dynamite, I got Mars Attacks Red Sonia number two, written by John Lehman. Fran Stokeman's doing the art, but I got it for that Lucio Perillo cover, man. That is super sexy. Lucio Perillo is just putting out banger after banger. Also, he's got a, a Detective Comics variant for uh, the 1000th issue anniversary. And uh, man, that book is dope looking, so check it out. I got two books from, uh, two covers from the marked number seven from Image Comics. We got David Hine doing the writing and Brian Haberlin doing the art. Absolutely love Haberlin's uh, art inside it is excellent. And both of these covers are from Haberlin as well. This one's like a wanted poster. You can see the Ouija board tattooed on the chest. Very cool concept. And uh, I couldn't pass this one up from Haberlin as well. Great series. I have heard some talk about that being signed for a Netflix series or some such. I really enjoy it, so jump on that one while you can. And this, I haven't heard any uh, series talk, but Stealth is a dope series. Oh my God, that book is so dope. Uh, Mike Costa's doing the writing. We got Nate Bellagard doing the art and a Jason Howard cover, and I cannot recommend this book highly enough. So ultra violent. I was not expecting this title to rock me that way. We got Something is Killing the Children, number 10. Last up, this is the last one of my re recouped comics. Uh, James Tinian, of course, is doing the writing on this book. Whether at Della Dera is doing the art and cover, there was a Simone DeMeo uh, 1 in 25 variant up at Yancey Street Comics, but they wanted 60 bucks for it, and I couldn't do it because I bought some other variants I'm going to show you as well. Hey, my mom found this one in the garage going through some stuff. I'm hoping she'll find some more of my comics from back in the day, but this is a G.I. Joe 111 Lee Weeks cover. Got a uh, got Scarlet on the cover, got Snake Eyes on the cover. What do you want? And uh, I picked this up at Emerald City Comics for 15 bucks, and that's a great price on the, the, although there is a little cover scuffage right there, but this is The Boys number three, and if you're not up on The Boys on Amazon, that series is dope. Oh my God, it is so good. And this is the first appearance of the seven, or at least most of them. We got Homelander, Black Noir, Queen Maeve, uh, A-Train, and Starlight all first appearing in this book. So the number one book of this series is only basically the uh, first appearance of uh, Billy Butcher and uh, maybe Huey. So uh, man, jump on this book. I think this one will flesh out to be one of the most popular boys covers, maybe even, even rivaling number one. Whew! Also picked this one up. What a deal on this book. It's a one in 25. I only paid $12.99 for it, but I have not seen one go for much less than 50 bucks on the eBay. And uh, O'Keefe does a great job on this variant. Very, very nice. And lastly, uh, well, not quite lastly, I got the Wraith. And uh, actually, let me show you number two first. Number two is the first team appearance and origin of the Exelon. 
Uh, the Exelon are null parasites of darkness. Uh, they uh, were uh, they had uh, taken over some Cree explorers, and uh, they were called the Nameless. So lots of first appearances in here, and uh, a lot of spec heating up with this character and the Exelon being created by Null. So uh, definitely recommend you grab this one. And I was able to get this one for 25 bucks. It's about a $50 book on the eBay. And then I got two copies of this number three. Uh, and these are dope Clint Langley covers as well as Kyle Hott's interior. So I'm surprised I hadn't grabbed this book before now. And lastly, I got this one in the mail today. We got us a Dark Knight's Metal number three. I don't really understand all the hype from Peach Momoko. I mean, her art is okay. I think it's the coloring that I have the biggest issue with. It seems like it was colored by uh, some cheap pencils or crayons maybe. Uh, some covers I've liked to hers, I'm not gonna lie, but for most of them, I don't understand what all the hype's about. But I wanted to grab this one, an early appearance of the Robin King in Momoko's Hot, so I might uh, be able to cash in on this book one day. I paid 15 bucks for it, it's already going for about 30 five on the eBay. So uh, sorry to make it quick, but I'm glad you got to see these books and I'm sorry I couldn't get them, get them to you in an orderly man manner. I'm kind of a slave to my comic shop, but uh, I think next week I might try out Tampa first and then make my way back and see if my, my comic store got what they were supposed to. So uh, hey, be sure to look down, hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. And uh, sure, thank you for all the comments. Uh, let me know, let, let me, but uh, let me know what you think about my comic shop, what, I, what you think I should do, or if you have some comic shops that you would recommend me trying out. So uh, that's it for me and Yokes. We'll see you next time. Wee! Love you, doggy.